The spring events are here, so it's time to buy up the bundles and see if they're worth it. Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chiskool Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms, and today all of the spring events arrived, and with it, in an unusual fashion, we have had the bundle arrive immediately. Normally, the bundle arrives a few days later, so in this video, we'll go in, and we are going to take this bundle up to the $100 tier, so you can see everything that's in it, and we'll compare to other bundles that you could go and purchase. It is also very important to mention that there is a recharge rewards event going on right now as well. So when you spend, you get even more stuff as long as you do that spending over the course of five different days. You need to purchase bundles that will give you a total of 2,500 raw gems on any one day. At the end of each day, it's going to go and reset. And that's what you need to do to unlock the rewards on each day. So you do that on five different days. The rewards here are pretty basic compared to things we have seen in the past. There's no special blueprint fragments in here. There's no major emojis or materials that are particularly necessary to go and obtain. It's just good value on top of bundles that you might have gone to purchase anyways. Speaking of which, let's get a look at this birth of spring. We know that the premium currency has somewhat changed. This premium currency, which you see right over here in blue, that is the spring nectar, used to be worth about 100 gems a pop if you were to try to buy it in the in-game events. Now it's worth 50 gems a pop, which people have pointed out, by the way, that although the city skin has not changed in price, and this is a big deal, by the way, the permanent city skin is still only 100 of the premium currency, the same as it was before. Even though they cut the price of it in half if you were spending gems, the legendary commander sculptures are actually double the number of the premium currency that they were before. So they half the gem cost, double the currency that you need. So the legendary commander sculptures are about the same in terms of their sort of price. However, it is a discount on these right over here, the city skin, which is really solid. Cavalry health and you lose infantry health to get that. But let's do the thing we were setting out to do. We're going to start buying this bundle. Immediately, a few things that call to my attention. I like that the resources are pick one. You never know what you're going to need. I like that the speed ups are universal. And I mean, okay, the avatar frame, we can become Chiskulina. We can do it. We'll use the frame for at least a little bit and see what we think. Let's buy this $5 bundle. Okay, looking now to the $10 bundle. More speed ups and more of the premium currency. This is about two legendary commander sculptures worth of premium currency. It's not much, but it is half of the way to the full epic accessory that you could go and get. It's more than enough once you account for all of the free to play stuff that's going on to actually go and get the city skin, which is pretty cool. So let's pick this up and I'll just call attention to the fact that you get a name plaque as well, rose in the center. Branches on the sides, you know, it's not my style, but hey, if it's for you, then go for it. Okay, $10 purchase is in. This brings us to the $20 tier. We went from 40 of the premium currency up to 50 of the premium currency. So very little increase in the premium currency here. We are getting more speed ups, a higher tier of the pick ones, the VIP, the gems. You'll see that now the recharge rewards have flared. I am able to access these flared. I don't know. The notification is there. How about how about that? That's more accurate. 2,500 raw gems and you're good to go. Now, most players should stop their spending and spread this out over a couple days. Because I'm buying the crystal bundles for the Season of Conquest anyways, I'm going to hit this every day regardless. So let's just buy the $20 tier now and keep going. Okay, here we go. Now at the $50 tier, we bump up substantially from 50 of the premium currency to 120 of the premium currency. So that is enough to go and get a city skin. That's enough to get uh, the city skin. Heck, and you could go and get the accessory. That is a full accessory pattern there in the, in the shop. More speed ups. Let's go and pick this up and see what's in the $100 tier. Okay, purchase is all set at the $100 tier. We've got more of the same. 200 of the premium currency and a whole bunch of speed ups as well as the resources. Let's go and do the math on these bundles to see how they stack up. 
okay, we've done the math and we'll put the numbers up on the screen. In terms of the volume of speed ups, this bundle is about middle of the road. It's what you would expect. It's not the very top tier in terms of volume of speed ups. However, you're getting something more useful than gold keys for most players anyways, which is a currency that you can use in a shop to get some really high value items. Universal legendary commander sculptures are really high value. Going in and getting a city skin you might want or an accessory is a pretty solid pickup. So I personally will very happily make my way to this $100 tier. And if I need more of the premium currency, I personally might just spend some gems on it. Because there are fewer things these days for me to spend gems on since I can't do this Wheel of Fortune, which is the weirdest thing. I've got all those commanders expertise. Then, yeah, I guess I'll go and spend my gems on that. Got to do something with them. This is weird. In terms of the things that I think are highest value in this shop, because I already have this city skin, I'm definitely not going to go and pick it up again. I think that you only get like 200 gems tops for getting a duplicate of a city skin you already have. It, it, it would be a real tragedy if I accidentally pick up that city skin again. No, the things that I'm going to be most interested in is getting this accessory choice chest, which is a slam dunk for me. Absolutely must get. Love it. Now, between the Delane's Amulet and the Silent Trial, I'm obviously not going to get the Peter Sickle, which is the gathering related accessory. I personally am going to be angling for the Silent Trial. For me... Having multiple marches in the field with silent trials is actually going to be kind of cool, right? I've already, after I pick this up, going to have four silent trials. One of them is special talented, which means when I'm swarming a march with seven marches, that is a lot of rage reduction. And if I did make my way to a comedic seven silent trials, they will be losing 70 rage a second. I mean, it could basically ice out whatever target I'm swarming, which is kind of a cool idea. Now, people are saying, Chiskul, in the comments of my videos, that Delane's amulet they think is better because in shorter fights in the open field where you don't just stand there and brawl for a long time, you might get more value out of the Delane's amulet where it's reducing the counterattack damage you take, and that is generally very strong as well. My feeling on that is that there's a lot of things that can give me some punch and some tankiness on the battlefield, but... Very few things manipulate the enemy's rage, which is pretty cool. It's either amazing or terrible, actually, and I made a video all about that. Card up in the top if you'd like to see a detailed video on accessories in Rise of Kingdoms. But that's what I'm picking up first. The other thing I'm really excited to get is actually these materials right over here. So I'm going to get the legendary commander sculptures. I'm going to get the materials. Over time, I'll be able to get the gold keys during this event. And maybe, I mean, geez, even the speed-ups are... Really good value. I might even, honestly, I I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to gem these or if I'm going to get bundles. I guess it depends on whether or not I actually need the less premium currency, the bouquets. And the bouquets, by the way, you can get them from the bundles. You also can get them from seeds, or if you've been watching my videos recently, also known as potatoes. So if you get enough potatoes, you can go and convert those into the flowers, I mean, potatoes, flower at some point, right? That happens through the, sp uh, not the spring's return event, where is it? Right, the one called planting flowers, that's where that happens. You go and you smash the button, turning your seeds, also known as potatoes, into rewards. Those are the flowers. And by the way, there are rankings here, so if you turned in enough of these, theoretically, you could get a top rank and get a couple days of speed ups. I just, I really wouldn't worry about that. I really wouldn't worry about that at all. There are tiered rewards along the way 10 times over the course of this event. As people go and turn in their potatoes, you're going to get some good stuff over here, which is actually pretty nice. I've been enjoying that in Kingdom 2. But I already covered the majority of these events in a previous video. In fact, I did that just yesterday. So if you'd like to see more information about that, I'll have a card up in the top. And if you got value from this video... Do me a huge favor and throw a like on here and consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies. We'll be live streaming tomorrow for the Ruined Crusader Fortress. We are in KVK, Strife of the Eight. We are battling against the literal strongest kingdom in the game. You are not going to want to miss that, so subscribe. We'll be tuned in tomorrow. Uh, whenever this thing opens, I'll make sure to post that in my Discord, discord.gg chiskel. 
You should be sure to join that so you get the latest and greatest. Subscribe so you don't miss the stream. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom and good luck blooming those potatoes, baby.